Dave Samara signing on with some more Dark Souls Remastered. Alright, so last time we not only beat the Four Kings, which was really a quick thing to do, and we then got into the Demon Ruins and we took on the first boss down here, which was a Fire, um, fire Sage Demon. Beat him, and now we're moving on. Okay, I think it's this way up. I think the other path... There's another path we could go, but I think that's for another thing. We can go down or up. For some reason... Oh, bonfire! Bonfire, bonfire, bonfire. Oh, yeah, right. I think it's right through there is another boss right away. Right, if we go up, that's a shortcut, if I recall, if I'm getting this right. No, we're still alive. Maybe we should kindle this bonfire at least once. Or we're still unhollowed. Uh... Yeah, we'll just try once. Because this is another boss coming up that I don't remember being too difficult, but it's going to be hard enough. If I remember this boss door correctly, and I'm pretty sure I do. He also got a bunch of souls. We're going to lose these, I bet. Was there a summon sign? For who? I think Solaire at this point. Knight Solaire. Yeah. Sorry, Solaire. I'm on a roll. I'm going to do all this by myself. I want to help. I want your help, but at the same time, I'm not going to take it. All right. Then what's the boss called? Here it comes. Yeah. Think about this boss. It's like surrounded by lava, so you really got to watch it. Oh, yeah, he was the thing that was just sitting there. Oh, clever. He was just hiding in plain sight. I was thinking to myself, that looks like that boss. And I forgot it was actually it. Yeah, this wormy thing. Centipede demon. Yeah. Ah, uh, ta-ta-ta-ta-ta. How we do this? Come at me, buddy. The best thing for me you to for me to do is just stay on this island. Oh Jesus. Come on. Well that was quick. Maybe I should have moved a little bit more before trying to heal, but... Yeah, thing is, we gotta kill that thing before we can walk on lava. Oh shoot, I just realized I still have the Abyss Walker ring. And I really don't need that right now. Oh yeah, that's a good ring. Just don't unequip it. Yeah, that's better than... The other one, I think. Little defense protection when that just gives us more health and such. Okay, let's try that again. And this time, hopefully, it goes better. Alright, Centipede, come here. Come here, get closer so I can attack you. Because I can't walk on lava yet. I gotta kill you in order to get that privilege. Oh, jeez. I can't remember, what was the best way to damage this thing? Okay, well, the fire sword is out. Shoot, come on. Get out of there. Come on. Alright, so for once in a while, the Drake sword is going to do more damage than the Fury sword against the fire monster. This isn't a difficult boss, but it's going to be a little annoying. 
think if I equip fire resistance stuff, that might help, but at the same time, no. <laughs> thing is, we just can't get a, we can't walk across lava. So we have such a small area to play with, and I don't remember other ways of beating him. There's other tricks, but I just can't remember. I'm too stubborn to look things up at this point. Yeah, we're in lava for a second, and that's how much health we lose. Uh... Oh, wait a second. Oh, right. I was trying to think. I thought maybe the item would be here, sitting here, but no, I think we have to kill him. Come on over here. This is a bit more space for me to fight. Come on, come closer. A little bit more. Come on, buddy. Oh, come on. Uh-oh. Shoot. You have to stomp around with your other foot, too. Oh, come on. <sighs> okay. Come on, if I can just get past you, I think I can get to the Witch of Isolith real fast. Okay, out of morbid curiosity, can I switch out this ring? Because that really doesn't do much for me. Boost fire defense. Okay, that might help a little bit. A little bit. Come on, this could be real quick. Little fire defense, that might help me a little bit, at least maybe when traversing lava. know if it helps too much. It's hard to tell. I'm not going to compare. I'm not going to... Oh, shoot. Wait. Did I lose all my 20,000 souls I had before doing this fight? I just realized. Oh, I did. That completely slipped my mind. Oh, well. My fault. Come on. Come back to the island here. Come on, big guy. Oh, come on. Oh, come on. <sighs> nope, shoot. Bad timing. Damn it. Come on. Just get closer so we can... Okay, seriously? Orange charred ring. Okay, there it is. That's what we need. Oh, come on. Let me go. Let me go. Let me go. Let me go. Ah, damn it. Okay, not a whole lot of damage, which is good. Still can't hit his other limbs because they're too high up. Oh, come on. If 
fine. If you're not going to make this any easier, I'm just going to keep slashing your butt. Where'd he go? Oh, there's another. Well, as long as he's distracted, attacking the wall. Oops. No, come back. Let me keep attacking your stub. Oops, shoot. Come on. You almost got this thing. Don't die on me now. Get it out without taking damage? Okay, that was weird. Oh. Tail regenerates. I didn't even realize. There we go. He's down. Phew. Okay. Now we can quickly attach that ring. Or the strawberry reduces lava damage. Okay, basically this lets us run on lava. Manny, homeward bone. So yeah, now we... Well, it still comes in pretty fast, but we barely take lava damage now. Give me a minute. I'm trying to remember. Let's just quickly go up to that bonfire just so we can spend the spend some souls but otherwise then we go continue through there if I can do this right if I remember my routes we can probably get through we can probably get to Lich of Isleth because that's an incredibly easy boss fight but you need to get lucky put it that way oh wait I forgot why I came up here for a second Level up, put in resistance, try and benefit other things. Soul of a Brave Warrior, cool. Uh oh. We'll just see if there's another bonfire nearby. I'm pretty sure, I just don't remember and I don't want to risk. I didn't want to risk losing those souls, but now after that, I think I'm good. As well. Could disrobe or disarmor, unarmor, strip down. But so that's nice. I'd lose like two, three bars just from doing that. And we're gonna have to do a lot of running through lava. Can't remember. Is it through that cave or is it through that? No way. Yeah. No, that's empty. What? I think we gotta move this at some point. I don't remember. Or you could move this. That looks like something that shouldn't be there. Okay, there's something through here, and then there's a path through there. I don't remember what's what. Oh, there's Solaire. He's probably really bummed out by now. And there's the bonfire. Okay. Why? Why? I don't know. After all this searching, I still cannot find it. Well, maybe if you're looking for your son, maybe get out of the underground. Why? After all... I don't know what to tell him at this point. I can't remember how you can save him, because if I don't save him now, he's going to get corrupted real soon here. All right, bonfire, and we go this way.
probably have to kill. We shouldn't need to kill that bonfire, really. But this place is a pain. Because, okay, because you have to run through a ton of lava, you know, you're constantly taking damage, and then you got Lost Isleth, and you got dragon corpses everywhere. That's what those are, just staying there. Those are, like, just dragon legs. Just hanging around. And you gotta get through those things, and that's a real pain. Ugh. This place is so annoying. And then, like, you have to go through all this garbage in order to get to the boss, who's complete garbage. Like, actual garbage. Okay, I gotta remember the path. So many corpses. I actually think, did they add some in the remaster? Because I don't remember there being even this many before. That's awful. I think we had to go left. Soul of a great hero. Oh, cool. Alright. That's what I want to draw attention to. Oh, God. I woke it up. I woke up one of the dragons from their naps. Nope, leave me alone. Okay, wait, there. I think I see my where I'm supposed where I'm supposed to head. Yep, that way. Jesus. Wait, what the Go away! You're not supposed to be up here! Okay. Ugh, damn thing. Just gotta keep running. Don't die. Dragon probably caught up by now. Gotta go through here. Leave me be. Go up here. Oh, there's another route we could go, but no way. That leads to something else, doesn't it? No? Intertwines back in. Okay, cool. Now, okay. That's a pain to get through. It really is. I'm just, I'm ex I'm veterined in getting through that place. And it's, trust me, it's a nightmare the first times you go through. And then we go this way, through there, through there. Right, because it also introduces another enemy type here that's a real stickin'. Okay, we're just gonna go through these guys. Don't mind me, just coming through, I'm just coming to kill your leader. Uh, up here, yeah. Is there anything else down there? I am stuck, there we go. And then we got these weird octopus things. Kind of looks like... You know that weird vacuum cleaner from the Teletubbies? It looks like a demonic version of that, kind of. A very demonic, multiple-nosed thing of that. I feel like one of these walls was breakable, and I don't remember. No? Okay. Doesn't matter too much. I'm just looking around, because there's also... Siegmeier should be down here by now. And I'm wondering if we can help him. I remember um, a good portion of Siegmeier's quest, because my friend... One of my friends loves Siegmeier so much, and he knows, like, all about his quests. And I can't remember, but I thought it was nearby. Soul of a hero, well, we got that at least. It was somewhere near here. I should just keep focused on my thing. There we go. 
so I didn't have to go all the way back around. All right, let's keep on, keep focus. There's another path. Get out of here, Pyromancer. Actually, probably not smart to use. I don't remember finding the Pyromancer here. I thought there was supposed to be a Phantom. Oh well, whatever, he's down. Isolith Catalyst. Isolith Catalyst. Alright, there it is. Just real quick. Okay, I thought it was going to grab me. Okay. This is a harmless chest. Permanency Chaos Fire Whip. Cool. Okay. Is there really nothing else around here? Please tell me this is an invisible wall. No. No. I could have sworn... I'm trying to remember. This might sound stupid, but I swear... When they were talking about doing the remaster, they were going to add another bonfire closer to this thing. But I don't remember if that's even true. And I don't see any proof of which. Okay, I'm morbidly curious. Let's just take a look. Because I'm... Now I've got this bonfire in my head, and I don't know if it's even real or not, but the hope... The hope it gives me is just so overwhelming. This is not it at all. Okay, you know what? Screw it. Let's just do it. If I'm lucky, first time around, this will be pretty fast. But if I'm not, it's just going to be a real pain. Shoot. Oh, God. Ah, uh, damn it. Not what I meant to do at all. Okay, well, I'm pretty sure this is where Siegmeier was supposed to be, but he's not here, so now I'm upset for wasting my time looking for him. Uh, shoot. How do I get out of here? Come on, there's got to be a way out. gonna have to go down there up oh, I was okay I awkwardly climbed out of him oh crap poison water shoot and I'm slow the line's so screwed why did I bother trying to help Siegmire? you know what just go down it's a chasm I'm dead stupid Okay, that was real stupid of me. I'll completely admit that. Uh, shoot, what was I thinking? Such false hope. And that false hope bit me so hard. Alright, let's de-armor so I can try and run through this fast. I don't think I'm losing health any slower. Or any faster than I was before with all that armor. Maybe a little bit, but... It's negligible. Okay, so... Lost Isolith. I can't remember. I had a good strategy of getting to there fast, even if it led to a lot of dangers with these things, but... Still hoping that maybe that bonfire was real. Did I just misread it or what? Where are all the openings? That bonfire is non -exist non existent, as far as I know. Maybe it is real, I'll have to look it up later. But now, <clears throat> just get out of here. 
Trust me, this... Again, this was a real pain to get through the first couple of times. Took a few playthroughs before I could finally get through here. Like this. Just run, get the hell out of there. <clears throat> okay, probably safe to armor back up. Actually, maybe I should... No, considering what that thing will do. Ugh, okay, let's go after that boss and see how this goes. It, we've gotten so far, if we could just kill that thing <clears throat> in this video, that would be just great for my categorizing. Okay, <clears throat> almost there. Just run past him. That pyromancer should be dead, so we have less to deal with. Get away. I'll admit, though, those, like, boo 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 noises that those things make when they walk is pretty cute. <laughs> I never noticed that before. And I went that way. Alright, here we go. Here comes the disappointment. Nah, 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 get ready for sadness. I should probably equip a bow. That makes this a little bit simpler, but... The Bed of Chaos, a.k.a. the Witch of Isolith. And this boss fight is absolutely horrendous. The thing about the Bed of Chaos is that... Do not die on me now. The thing about the Bed of Chaos is that the boss fight... It, you know what? We'll just get through it, okay? Just bear with me. got more range because the thing is you got to go on either side of the bed of chaos destroy those points damn you destroy those points and then yeah you also got pitfalls opening up Stupid range! You can't do anything about that. Ugh. Damn it, damn it, damn it. Okay, you know what? This video's going until we kill this damn... Okay. Uh, you know what? Let's just overcompensate, because we're gonna need the help because of this stupid... Because the thing about her is that in order to kill the Bed of Chaos, first you have to go on either side of her, and then... Oh, wait, we only needed three. Never mind, I made a mistake. Oh, well. You gotta go on either side and destroy those wards, if you will, and then it opens up her front. And then once you destroy the front... Well, once you get inside the front, you're safe. But it's the pitfalls. It's her stupid range. It's the... It's just ridiculous. It's just everything is just being destroyed around you. And she's just got such stupid... Can I kill him any further? Didn't think so, but worth a try. And the boss fight is just stupid. It is so poorly designed. And even the creator of the series, Miyazaki... Is that his name? I'm pretty sure. Miyazaki even outright said the Bed of Chaos was a mistake. And that's how... That's how bad it is. That's how hated this boss is. 
It's just, it's awful. And it's just so annoying. So you gotta go through all this fire, these dragon legs and such, in order to get back to her, in order to try again, in order to tr probably fall down a pitfall again. That's why it would have been nice if that bonfire rumor was true. Maybe it is, and I don't know where to look, but god dang it. If they were going to make a bonfire, they should have put it right in front of that door. I tried going up there, but that's right in front of the back. I didn't know where that. So we got 20 Estus flasks to try and take as much damage as we can, because that's what we need to do. We got to waste more time healing up. The bed of chaos just sucks. Bottom line. Is my audio not working? I can't hear anything. Okay, it was just my headphones acting up. This looks like a door. Bonfire, be there. Come on. Bonfire? No. I could have sworn that was real. I am stuck. Maybe I shouldn't armor up yet. There, we just gotta get through this, and then we're done. Once we get her soul, then we'll be on the final stretch. We could go straight after Gwyn after that, but we still there's still another a few more places we can go and get some bonus stuff. And there's also something else I want to do, and that's Dark Kirk. Get no, Kirk, go away. I am not in the mood for you. I don't have the time. I don't have the energy. I just want to kill the bed and go to bed. Anyway, there's more stuff we can do. We can um, go to a couple different areas, go to a different world. Phantom Kirk has returned home. Good. Oh, that's right. The ward. Okay. Well, that helps a little bit. Are you? You better not. I don't remember. Did it always save like this? I can't recall. I don't recall. Maybe it did. Okay, if that if so, good. That makes it a lot simpler, at least. No, yeah, wait. I think it did save, uh, but then we got this garbage. Ugh. Hopefully we can get it on this try. Rank. This is the only safe place we possibly have. Oh, come on. Oh, yeah, wait, my souls. How many souls did I have? I thought a lot. That probably wasn't worth it. You... God damn it. Well, maybe getting the souls wasn't worth it. Well, now all we gotta do is a straight line to her, and then... Frick. How many souls did I have? I didn't even see. Was it worth it? Would it have been worth it? Well, it should be easy to pick up the next time around. Because, damn it. Well, maybe we can just run straight at her without any armor. We're gonna have to make a jump, and if we don't make the jump, ugh. Just gonna have to run straight through. This isn't a difficult boss, it's just an annoying, terrible boss.
I just realized, I forgot we could, we, you know, your progress is saved from destroying her points, so now kindling that bonfire was useless. Alright, where are my souls? Why are they over there? Okay, you know what? The killing her is more worth it, not even for her souls, just getting rid of her right now is worth more than those souls I'm losing. There we go. See, it's not difficult at all. You know what? And that's all she is. Just this bug, and that's it. One strike, it's over. Lord Soul, done. Defeat Bed of Chaos. Bed of Chaos is awful. Go away. Go home. Never come back. Ugh. <sighs> Christ. We're just gonna warp out of here. Going back to the Firelink Shrine. We're done. Bed of Chaos. Done. Sorry, it's not a difficult boss. It's just a super annoying boss. Trust me. You know, and that was, you know... Three tries, one for each side, and then directly in the middle. That's you. That's probably a new record for me. It's just it. The first couple of again, first couple of times doing it, it's just a pain. Okay. Anyways, done. Level up resistance. Can't level up too much. Nah, I'll take care of that later. Okay. Anyway, so now we got all four Lord Souls. So now we can go talk to Frampt, and then we can go fight Gwyn. But we're going to do some other stuff before that. And that bird is going to help us get to our next position. So next time we're going to do some other stuff, and basically now we're, we're pretty much at the end of the game. But there's still stuff I want to do. There's um, more areas we can search, there's a few cool things we can find, and this is also going to be my first, we're going to come up on my first time trying out the Abyss Walk or, no, wait, what's the DLC called? Well, whatever the Dark Souls DLC is. I've never played it. It's going to be my first experience with it, <clears throat> technically. So, yeah. Next time, we're going to do some other stuff, and eventually we'll get to the DLC. So, until next time, thank you for watching. Hope you enjoyed. Like and subscribe and all that. This is Tamara, signing off.